Okay, YouTube. Quick video of the things that I got so far. I'm ready to start putting my MPPT solar charge and controller inverters in, and I'm just going over to let you know what I got so far. And maybe you see something on here that I didn't get, and you could probably give me a little guidance of what else I need to get. But this is what I got so far. I got the two MPPT. Uh, charge controllers with the built-in transfer switch and the built-in inverter and they are the 24 24s 24 volt and two 2400 watts a piece and uh, I got my circuit breakers here to come off my batteries to go to the inverter I got my breakers here coming from that's gonna come from my solar panels into the breaker box and out of the breaker box into the MPPT solar inverters. Uh, I have my number two number two wire which is the get this end over here. It is the heavy duty welding cable so I got 20 feet of that I got 20 feet of the number two red um, this is going to be the heavy duty heavy duty wire welding wire too then I got 400 feet of the wire coming from the solar panels into the breaker box so this will come from the solar panels 400 feet because I need to run uh, uh, hot and then I need to run a ground and then I also need to come off of two different solar arrays so that will leave a hundred feet for each one I already made my little jumpers up from my uh, these are the jumpers to wire my solar panels into series. I'm going to run the panels in parallel, I mean series and then parallel. So that will bring the volts up and keep the amps down low. I got a video of that if you want to go and uh, take a look at it, you can. But this is what I got so far and we getting ready to start to install this stuff here. And uh... I'll take a, let you take a look at my other setup that I had. It worked flawlessly. I didn't have it over a year, but this system is going to take place of that one. So hold on just a second. We'll go over and I'll show it to you. Okay, YouTube. This is my old setup that I had. I had one, two transfer switches, and I had one, two pure sine wave 1500 watt uh, continuous inverters and this system worked it flawlessly the power came into these um, transfer switches and what it did was whenever I would lose power from the city power it would automatically transfer over to here and I had a button upstairs so I didn't have to come down here I just hit the button and it turned on the inverters and inverters would run until the power came back on and when the power came back on it would switch from the inverters here and switch back to grid power and start taking it out of the grid but this is my little sub box right here that I had all my necessities in I had my uh, refrigerator tied into this. I got my master bedroom tied into this. My master bathroom is tied into this. The hallway lights is tied into this. The uh, My water softener is tied into this. And then my pellet burner that I use for heat is tied into this uh, system too. So uh, keep in mind that all my lights in my whole house is LED lights. So... With the lights, I use very, very little watts. I think our um, our hallway lights is like 10 watts each, and it's maybe, uh, I think it's three, 
four. It's five of them, so that's like 50 watts. And the master bedroom, the watts in there is like, I mean, the uh, lights in there, the light fixture in there has uh, four bulbs in them, and each one of them is four. Uh, 0.5 watts per bulb so it's less than 20 watts on that so I can run my TV in my master bedroom and I can run everything that I needed to run my water softener ran on this to keep the water softener going and like I said my pellet burner to keep so we would have heat if we lost the, uh, the grid power but this system worked it flawlessly the only downside to this one that I like about the the MPPT solar setup is I can actually set the MPP solar to where it would run off of solar power during the daytime and then at nighttime we can run off the batteries until my batteries drop down to like maybe 70 percent after my batteries reach like 70 percent it'll click over to grid power and run the rest of the night on grid power till the next day and it charges the batteries up and then it will run pretty much all day long on my um, solar outside so it would actually produce enough power to run the house and it would produce enough power to charge the batteries back up so that's what I liked about this one this one here was kind of like just backup power if I wanted to I could always hit the little switch upstairs in my master bedroom and turn these on and once they come on they would run until you know I shut them off or they would run until the batteries got low but that's bad to run your batteries you know down too low and I didn't want to continuously do that but I went and purchased new batteries from um, Sam's Club. I went to Sam's Club, got new batteries, got 16 golf cart batteries. So this system here should be pretty nice once I get it all hooked up and I'll keep you posted. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Subscribe and like this video if you can. Thank you. Bye.